if you could go back, does that have anything to do with? And what if that was your last chance? Seeing how things turned out, would you now change? Was that your decision? I can't imagine what that would feel like. We want to know. 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 People say that within every person there is a whole galaxy. We want to know. Are people right? From the creators of American in Yerevan, Ina M. K. and Stephen Oxner. Homesick. At home. Have you ever felt that way? Shaw City. I'm coming home again. Good evening, dear listeners of Radio Van 103.0. Holiday mood is in the air, and this is the last Friday night and the last episode of our English-speaking show, Home to Get Home, of this year. I am Ina M.K., still alone in the studio. Stephen, hello, still missing you. Um, but as usually, we have a very interesting guest tonight, uh, right here in our studio, and tonight it is... It is a very good friend of mine, <laughs> Aret Bostash Tovmasyan. Good evening, Aret. Good evening to How everyone. How are you? Fine, Annie. Did you make yourself com- comfortable? In your... Yeah, I'm comfortable. Okay, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for accepting our invite on this New Year's Eve. <laughs> I, I know too. you must have been busy. And uh, so let's start with your bre- background. You were born in Turkey? Right? Yeah, in Istanbul. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, how did you move there? Uh, how did your parents move there? And tell us the story a little bit. Uh, my parents from the village of Turkey uh, already there, not moved to any country mm. after the genocide. So they stayed there. But uh, for example, my father, my grandfather changed his uh, surname mm. for the living in there to continue to live in there oh so to he be comfortable his last name to a turkish last yeah oh, turkey okay. and also the name uh, from philip ostomosian to mustafa bostash they changed that to uh, feel comfortable to live with turks so at uh, 1982 my mm-hmm. father came to istanbul from the village mm-hmm. uh, the village was the harbert Mm-hmm. The old yeah. harbor in Turkey. So, and my mother from Bitlisi, and has the same story with my uh, how was my father. So they meet each other in Istanbul. That they, they get married. I'm the second child of them. Oh, who's the first one then? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about your siblings. <laughs> uh, sister, brother. Uh, I have a brother mm-hmm. and a sister after me. Oh, cool. <laughs> Uh, so Do you want to say li- hello to them? Yeah, of course. Are so, they no. listening to us? Yeah, I think. Hello, Alex <laughs> hello. family. <laughs> hello, hello to my family. I miss you very much. <laughs> Alex, what, what, what was your life like before moving to Armenia? And how did you eventually decide to move to your ancestors' country? Uh, so, I grew up in Istanbul and I'm went to Armenian schools, uh, first Dadian Elementary School, mm-hmm. uh, eight years, then uh, four-year high school of Getronagan. Then in the Getronagan, I decided to be a pianist. And I uh, I was in music uh, from the, my 10. From the age of 10? From, from the age of uh-huh. 10, uh, but not professional. Then I decided to be a pianist then I started to practice for one year and I searched many uh, conservatories on, in the world and actually in Istanbul mm-hmm. and had some lessons in Istanbul but I didn't like it uh, as a person in Istanbul so uh, and I heard about Yerevan Conservatory so that that was the reason you decided to move here yeah I, first of all. Uh, that was the reason because i heard very good things that uh, they have a russian school in here mm-hmm. uh, then the professors are very uh, interesting and they are doing the lessons so good and perfect in mm-hmm. perfect way um, then i came here in uh, was 2009 Oh, so you're here from 
2009. Yes, yeah. for eight years already. Uh, yeah, but uh, last one year I was in Turkey with my family. <laughs> <laughs> I really missed them, so I went to there. And do you often feel homesick? You know, I have to ask this question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, re I'm really feeling homesick, and I can talk about, uh, I can t talk from the all, um, Bolso High we are saying that in uh, Armenian. So Armenians from Istanbul, I can talk from the, their mouths. Mm -hmm. uh, the, all of us are homesick, very. Uh, you know, we don't have some. Um, <laughs> party uh, parties in there so uh, Armenian parties mm -hmm. well, not Tashneks not uh, Hunchaks they are only homesicks oh, in Istanbul uh, and we all want to come here one day I, I really know that and I'm one of them in the nearest who, future yeah maybe something will happen that will that they will have to come maybe <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. And uh, where do you consider your home to be? Um, Here, because you know you are you are divided into uh, parts. Your background in Turkey and mm -hmm. now here in Armenia. So where do you consider uh, which which one is your home? I can't uh, answer that question. Correct, I think, because uh, here's army and my uh, homeland, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel very comfortable in here. But also in Turkey, so we have a uh, sixty thousand Armenians in there, and a very big, uh, very much schools mm -hmm. and churches and many things, choirs. Mm -hmm. Uh, dance groups and I'm I'm uh, now missing them. And your friends. Yeah, my friends and Hamain community. Yeah. Uh, was was it easy for you to make friends here? Because you you now have a lot of friends here, right? Yeah, uh, I have many friends, but uh, it was uh, not so easy in the first year. So let me. Tell a story about me sure. in the first thing. <laughs> uh, when you grow up in Turkey, so you are talking Armenian very quiet, or you are not talking it mm. on the uh, streets. Oh no, I know why you t speak so quiet. <laughs> 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 the secret of it is discovered <laughs> tonight. <laughs> no. Okay, go ahead. It's, it comes from respect, not from. Uh, so. I, uh, when I decided to come Armenia, I uh, first I'm uh, I was happy uh, about that. Then I will be in Armenia. I can speak Armenia as well I want. Uh, so I came here and the first thing happened to me. Uh, I'm uh, get out from flight mm -hmm. and get to the passport counter. Uh, yeah, the first then, impression is the yeah, airport. First, yeah. yeah, first impression is the airport. Uh, so there was a Russian girl mm -hmm. sitting in there and she started to talk with me Russian and first shook <laughs> then uh, I told me okay it can happen um, they uh, maybe in the mm, airport yeah yeah then maybe in the airport they're working Russians so it's not a big problem then the other day I went to the conservatory <laughs> <laughs> so the same thing in there and that Every, again. everyone uh, talks Russian then I'm shocked so uh, before that I started to explain things in Armenia. How should I um, communicate with people? Mm -hmm. um, so I started to learn how to uh, communicate to them, how to talk with them, in which language. <laughs> Do you know any of Russian words now? Yeah. After all these years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that you know, but still. <laughs> so, Mujik Sigazal, Mujik Sigazal. Okay, we, we need to go for a little break and then continue to discover okay. this really interesting personality uh, and also mystic, I would say, <laughs> Aret. Stay tuned, this is Homesick at Home on Radio Van. At home. And we are back in our studio with our guest Aret. Aret Jan, how are you? I'm fine. 
Very. people in their homes they're not hustling around with all the salads and uh, crap balloon cheeks <laughs> <laughs> and all the other yummy yummy stuff they are preparing for the holiday table and we are here tonight in our studio speaking about about our guests and Ared Jan mm, you're so you're devoted to music for over seven years yeah uh how did you choose this field you you told us that you were you pl- were playing the piano first and then you decided to study but uh where does this de- decision come from it does uh, maybe your parents are a musician or so- someone from the family or how did you even decide to uh so actually i start to uh, i start to being in music with church mm-hmm. choir uh, i'm I'm going to church uh, start when I was seven mm-hmm. so uh, I started to uh, sing in there and I like that very very much uh, my parents are not musicians uh, but I have a very good teacher of music Hagop Mami Goyan hello hello to Hagop Mami Goyan from here <laughs> thank you Hagop uh, also he's the uh, director of the Lusavarich Choir In Istanbul mm-hmm. uh, so first I started to play a uh, flute mm-hmm. log flute in the Baroque style then uh, I'm playing now eight instruments uh, wow. eight? And, yeah <laughs> tell, tell about each of them please <laughs> <laughs> tell them no okay I've started with a block flute I've heard you play the guitar okay I've heard the flute and Yeah. now I know about the piano what are the rest rest of them uh, okay I'm uh, also also bus guitarist mm-hmm. in the jazz groups or uh, and I national folk groups in Armenia uh, so let let count mm-hmm. uh, blue flute Shvi duduk uh, guitar bus guitar um, drums the whole a little bit and the I forget a piano <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> you've right. you already mentioned it before Wow <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so this is about you uh, when they say chilavek orchestra you know a phrase, <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> a phrase know. in <laughs> Russian <laughs> orchestra person <laughs> no. It could be. Uh, so I started with a block flute and continue to uh, music lessons in the school. Uh, but we are not a professional lessons so it's with a class with 20 pebbles uh, then I started to learn oh uh, Saz I'm already playing Saz uh, it's an Armenian and semi-Turkish mm-hmm. uh, Nine. instrument okay uh, then I start to this guy just doesn't stop people <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I started to learn uh, guitar and I uh, with my friend with my Turk friend actually Uh, then we learned a song just a song uh, mm-hmm. we are playing that every time so every time the same story same song which song and, is it? Uh, it it was a Turkish song oh. so uh, we are with our friends we are playing and enjoying that mm-hmm. uh, so one of our friends tell that oh come on you are already playing the same song every time so we decided to learn other songs and uh, start to search in Uh, internet and <laughs> look some for uh, chords. what other songs are there in the world <laughs> <laughs> no not, not 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 so like that uh, yeah. so guitar was like uh, we are playing with chords mm-hmm. and there are some uh, chords you have to know f- to play mm-hmm. and we just know knew the two chords and that songs we are playing every time it has two chords in there <laughs> so we started to learn an- another chords and Uh, so that's how I start to learn guitar uh, actually in this eight instruments I just uh, take the professional lesson of piano uh, the others I uh, learned from myself this is great <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh, well speaking about Turkey and uh, your background and considering the political situation of Armenia with Turkey I'd like to ask you do you 
do people often give you strange looks when you say that you're from Turkey here or do, you know um, do they ask you questions that you feel uncomfortable about <laughs> yeah uh, I, I, really I have a problem with that mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the one because I'm from Turkey and I'm here now and when I'm saying that I'm from Turkey mm -hmm. but I'm Armenian so first question is uh, they're asking to me you are Turk mm -hmm. I'm saying I'm not I'm Armenian you know uh, so second one is your mother Armenian or mm -hmm. your father <laughs> which one is Turk so <laughs> decide that uh, so then I'm starting to tell them uh, not of them are mm -hmm. Turks, they're None all Armenian, of the none of them are it's <laughs> Turks and uh, all of them are Armenians. So, okay, then. Oh, okay oh. Then, then the third question would be, why didn't you, <laughs> how did you live there? Why didn't you move yeah. earlier? So it's the hardest part, you know, uh, I I was in Turkey till I 18 mm -hmm. and I was, I was in there and I'm like this, you, you know what, I'm Armenian, so I take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. Um, when I talk with Turks uh, and I came here and uh, they, the, they are looking at me and very questionable, mm -hmm. well, questionable. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. it's normal and we, we and we also have a lot of questions still to you uh, it's 9 25 and we still have 35 minutes to go to spend with our wonderful guest Aret stay tuned this is Homesick at Home on Radio Van Radio Van Sireli We are back in our studio with our guest Aret and we have a surprise now we spoke about so many uh, instruments that Aret plays and now I think it is the time to listen uh, here we go. Ta da! <laughs> Thank you. Something like <laughs> that. Um, do, can you play something for uh, to add a little bit of Christmas mood to our studio? Oh, come on. <laughs> let, let me practice. First. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I found this to ride in a one house open sleigh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Army is telling. <laughs> uh, thanks, Aret. And now I think it is the time to reveal the uh, secret of our um, how I met Aret. No. <laughs> <laughs> so our listeners finally understand how I met you. Uh, Aret and I work at Ashotigran Cultural Musical Foundation, and recently we had a grand official opening of our foundation with a classical concert performed by the United American and Armenian Chamber Orchestra, founded by Maestro Ashot Tigranyan. Aret, first of all, can you share where was your job before getting the stage manager's position at this foundation? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how did it all happen, the story? Uh, so I told that I was in Turkey for one year, mm -hmm. and I was working in a uh, some foundation uh, as a piano teacher. Mm -hmm. I had many 
uh, students and teaching a piano and I have a I had a, a choir a children choir mm -hmm. in Turkey uh, then I'm directing it uh, so you still do no it, it was in Turkey okay. Okay. so I came here it uh, in September mm -hmm. uh, then we talk with Anush mm -hmm. then she how did, how did you meet Anush oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, we want the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> so don't skip the interesting part. <laughs> I, I was working as a waiter in Ar Armenia while I while while I uh, studying in conservatory. Uh, so I met with her and my lovely Lilith in that restaurant. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lilith is my girlfriend. <laughs> Hello, Lilith. <laughs> now they, there you go. Now this is what's interesting. Come on. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Uh, so Anush and Lilith are best friends. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I met with both of them in the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I met with Anush the, like this, and then this year uh, Anush talked with me. Uh, she wanted that stage manager and asked to me and in that time when she was asked uh, I'm really uh, I was thinking about to come to Armenia to live mm -hmm. because it was a very hard with you know we have a girlfriend in Armenia and being yeah, in it's, Turkey it's hard. <laughs> so it was a ch very big chance for me and I came for an interview with Anush and Vartan Dikrayan Mm -hmm. the brother of Asha Tikrayan mm -hmm. then I I had my interview then I go back to the Istanbul to say goodbye <laughs> <laughs> no, to, to wait uh, to the answer about yeah. the work uh, I waited very much <laughs> I can't tell it um, then Anush told me I'm in you're jail in. You're you are, in. I'm in so I came back in Armenia uh, at 3rd of September then I started to work in foundation like wow oh, I mean it's so good to you job and a girlfriend cool <laughs> <laughs> what else can a man dream of <laughs> can you tell us more about this experience of the stage managers work and all the uh, the concert that we had yeah uh, it's a little bit um, tiring Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, overwhelming yeah uh, because there are many people in orchestra and all of them has their own problems mm -hmm. then I have to listen to all of them mm -hmm. and I have to tell them to the Anush or Maestro mm -hmm. so I'm the connection p person mm -hmm. in the orchestra and the uh, the orchestra the, and our stuff and the, uh, yeah. yeah and stuff so uh, it has a hard times and I'm tired a little bit, a little bit uh, while I'm doing this job. But I like this job because uh, you are building something. Mm -hmm. You are um, creating a new stuff. So uh, actually I'm as, I'm, uh, as a librarian to mm -hmm. uh, next to a stage manager then one of each helping to other in this work so being librarian to being stage manager uh, actually my my day uh, passed like i i was in the rehearsals from mm -hmm. 10 to 12 uh, 10 to 2 uh, for four hours rehearsal and then uh, i'm uh, staying in the rehearsal place to fix some notes mm -hmm. writing them and changing them from the folders then i i was coming to the, to the office. office and <laughs> that's where we met yeah <laughs> that's where we met so, uh, so uh, you saw the difference of working with um, like turkish students and armenians what is there what are the differences uh, are I there can... like some uh, are there some moments where it, it is harder to work with Armenians or the opposite? 
Uh, no, they're actually the same. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, just one thing. Well, I I had a uh, some story in Turkey while I was uh, studying piano. Mm -hmm. So one of my my parent of a student mm -hmm. came to me and asked me why why is my name is Arit, mm -hmm. so it's not a Turkish name. And I told that, you know, why I'm Armenian. That's why I'm is uh, my name is Aret. Mm -hmm. So the reaction was, okay, okay, then it's it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Got it. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> and they and they you will can... alive. <laughs> you will be alive. <laughs> <laughs> and that student st remained in your group. Yeah. <laughs> they 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 didn't leave. Okay, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Harit, if you had to choose one melody that you had to listen for the rest of your life, one melody, yeah. what would it be? Oh, very, very hard question. Yeah, but still. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it will be a Comitas. And a anything from Comitas? Uh, no, not anything. It's, uh, it will be a, a Grung. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now another question. Yeah. What are the five best things you found in Armenia? Anything. Anything. Yeah. Specific. Oh. Be specific. <laughs> yeah. One of the best thing I found in the other one is my love. So the second is Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're now are going to get a call in our studio. <laughs> I'm just joking, uh, but really, uh, it was a chance uh, to meet with Lilith, and I really found her in Armenia, and I'm very lucky about that. Uh, so first thing is Lilith, then second one, the uh, learning then that learning stuff about uh, life mm -hmm. because I was alone in Armenia mm -hmm. for the seven it years. It was a growing experience yeah. for you. And I, I came here as a like, six, uh, 18 years old boy. So I came here and I learned how to uh, survive. Survive. I, I learned how to cook. I learned mm -hmm. how to... I, I learned everything. So the, the second one is that. Mm -hmm. uh, Third one is I learn how should I miss someone. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was B bittersweet feeling. Yeah, of, <laughs> of missing. Uh, it was hard in the first times uh, to missing my family, actually my father, mother. Uh, so, but learning that feeling mm -hmm. to be careful it was with also the new. yeah. And the third third one is that uh, two more, <laughs> two more, <laughs> getting harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it can be anything. I don't know, um, a dish, for instance. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I think that the fourth one will be the, my professor in Irina Saksona. Mm -hmm. And also Margarita Sarkisian, my, my two professors in the conservatory, mm -hmm. uh, that they helped me very much because I uh, I was uh, 17 when I started to play piano, practice, mm -hmm. and a whole year I uh, just practiced for the examination. Mm -hmm. uh, so I came here and passed that, and uh, then I started to uh, work with Irina Sarkisona and Irina Hagopian, and Margarita Sarkisian, so they're uh, two of my professors in the conservatory and very good persons, very good teachers, very, very good pedagogues, I can say that. That was, that is third, fourth, fourth. one. So And the last one? Last one, yeah. Uh, yeah it's very hard. I don't know, maybe... Uh, last one is... Uh, I really met with art in Armenia uh, because in Turkey there it's not a so it's long distance yeah yeah uh, so I came here to, and I just met with art in every way mm -hmm. in the painting 
in a uh, cinema and theater and actually in the music and you touched it yeah i touched <laughs> it and you are you are feeling it in here on the streets everywhere you you can see something uh, it has a line with art so <laughs> Dear Radio Van listeners, we're still here for 15 more minutes. Time flew by, as always, uh, really, really fast. And uh, we are speaking with Aret, a person who uh, values uh, people and the things he learns uh, during his uh, way uh and path of life uh you uh, i would like to remind you that you can watch and listen us live on www.radiovan.fm and we also have an application that you can download and listen to us everywhere happy coming new year to everyone and we're still here Radio. yes we are <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is Radio Van and Homesick at Home English speaking evening show, and we're here tonight with Aret Postash Tovmasyan, uh, listening to his life story. Aret, is there something that is really getting on your nerves here? Here. Not here, I mean in Armenia, <laughs> but also here. If, if <laughs> no, here is everything good. Uh, in Armenia, actually, uh, I'm getting nervous about car tools. Here. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, explain what is it? <laughs> what is it? So, uh, when I specifically when, what what when my father was getting an anger, so mm -hmm. it started to talk like this. Okay, you come on, you have to do this. Okay, and it's go bus, you know. Mm -hmm. And here are me, I uh, feeling that people getting angry and. They started to chilling out, so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> getting out there, their voices are getting out. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, some some people do that. <laughs> I'm getting Guys. very nervous of it. <laughs> so that that's the only thing I think. I'm getting nervous. Maybe they don't like your earrings. <laughs> no, it could be. It could be. <laughs> uh, oh, what do you miss the most about Turkey? Besides your parents, of course. Besides my parents. Uh, I'm missing that being an Armenian in Turkey. Mm. Uh, because, you know, I can't explain that feeling, but I can t uh, tell some sentences to you can imagine that. How is mm -hmm. it? Go ahead. Uh, so, no, no one tells that we, we have to go to church every uh, Sunday. Sundays mm -hmm. but actually in Istanbul all of the Armenians uh, without someone telling that without someone tell what to do we are going to church mm -hmm. and we are because uh, we are living uh, in Turks you know we have to keep things to be Armenian yeah the cultural the cultural and uh, heritage yeah uh, then I'm missing that stuff very much to being an Armenian in Turkey because every day our lives uh, in a fight you can lose your nation mm -hmm. you can uh, have some problem with Turks but so you like challenges yeah <laughs> but between that we are creating things to uh, to be more Armenian to be stay, <laughs> to, to, stay Armenian. Armenian. <laughs> to to be keep the uh, being Armenian. I see what you say. Um, does that mean that here um, you feel less Armenian than back home? No, no, uh, I'm I'm not feeling that. It's just but, different. Uh, it's just different. Yeah, uh, here I'm not. I don't have problems with people. Mm -hmm. You know, but in Turkey. You are having problems, much more problems with Turks. So you fight for each of your day there. <laughs> we can say that way. Yeah, we can say that way. But it's uh, it's a little bit a good thing, you know. Uh, in Istanbul, you can trust to Armenian. Mm -hmm. 
as an Armenian. I don't, I don't know how it's uh, in other countries, but uh, in Istanbul you like you are holding your uh, back. So it, I'm missing that that thing because we are living in Turkey. So you have we to have, hold each other's hands to yeah. keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, because there nobody else holding us, mm -hmm. just us, to do something, to keep things, to keep the schools. Now there the feeling uh, of unity. I think this is what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what ab What about the uh, people in Turkey? What do people speak about Armenia back back there? Uh, you are talking about Armenians or Turks. Both. I didn't, both no, both. maybe more Turks. More course. Turks. Yeah. Uh, there are different kind of Turks in Turkey. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I have many friends, Turks, but they are so normal, educated people. I mm -hmm. can uh, separate them, mm -hmm. divide them uh, as an educated and non-educated. So, who is educated and has uh, their own things own opinion all own opinions and they are listening to you they are they are not doing this okay you are armenian and you are, you are not a person mm -hmm. you know they are listening to you they are look you look looking you as a person first then if you if they want to look at you as an armenian they are, they can look at them. but it, uh, the important thing is that uh, they are first looking to you as a person uh so uh, I had many stories in Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, I can. Uh, Is there a funny one <laughs> you can remember? Uh, in Turkey, not a funny one, but in Armenia, I had many funny things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. If you want to share, go ahead. <laughs> so uh, I I really don't know the words in English, but I will tell you. I can help you with in, that. <laughs> so in the first year, I I was traveling with a map mm -hmm. where I'm going to somewhere. Uh, and I'm using map to reach there. So one day, I I just uh, lose my way mm -hmm. and ask to someone, "Can you show this up?" And it's uh, it like you know, uh, in Western Armenian, we are telling that they're not tsunel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I cannot translate that part. <laughs> okay, can you show me the way? Uh, yeah, can can you show me the way? But it you sounds must... a little different. Then. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, the the funny part is I didn't know that how it sounds in Armenian, yeah. uh, Eastern Armenian. You know, then that man uh, looked at me very anger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Then, then I understand that the tsunel is meaning in other thing, other thing in <laughs> Armenia. <laughs> I wonder what he thought. <laughs> okay. Um, are, do you have phobias? Oh, I have. I have a claustrophobia. You know, I, I don't like the close places, so I'm getting nervous of it. And O only that one, I think. Okay, now we need to go really quick for another break. Okay. And uh, we'll come back to have our last goodbye uh, um, part. So stay tuned. We're still here for a few more minutes with Aret. This is Radio 1, 103.0, Homesick at Home evening show. People are running around at the supermarkets, doing their last shoppings, women at the kitchen making really, really yummy stuff for their mm, holiday tables. And we're trying to <laughs> we're trying to pass this mood to our listeners tonight. Uh, so my last question to you. My dear guest, Aret. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> what is your wish from Santa this year? This year? 
Uh, it's a hard, hard question. I didn't think about that, really. Now it's the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Peace. Peace. Yeah. Uh, I'm wishing for Santa the peace for all the world. That's that only thing I'm wishing from him. That's for all the world. Yeah. And for you personally? Ah, uh, personally. Um, <laughs> uh, I wish more power uh, in me. So, as a person, as a boyfriend, as a stage manager, so uh, as me, how how I. Where do you see that power? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Power of will, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I, I wish from the Hard Santa. Work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wish that. I, okay, I mean, Santa knows. <laughs> no, Santa <better>. knows that. <laughs> Arjun, thanks for being tonight in our studio. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this time. Yeah, yeah, very much. No, we really enjoyed this conversation, and I personally got to know you better within this one hour. <laughs> <laughs> Happy holidays to you and hope that all your wishes will come true in this coming 2017. Thank you. Hello to Lily. Hope she was listening <laughs> to us and to your family. And see you after the holidays. See you. <laughs> now we're going to listen to Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Diana Kroll. Peace to all and happy holidays. <laughs>